Hi, my name's Chris. Uh huh. I'm Start Loving. Start Loving? Are you kidding me? You're Start Loving? Uh huh. This is Start Loving. So, so, uh, could, so, Mr. Loving, can I call you Mr. Loving? Do you prefer Start? What do you People prefer? People call me Start. People call you Start? Okay. So, that where we are, of course, we are across the street from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh -huh. And behind us is where you spend a good deal of time, right? About 10 hours a day. About 10 hours a day. So you're living on the streets, uh -huh. and you you sleep in Washington D.C. so pavement. that you can be on here and be focused. I, I I am unwilling to have anything take a second of my life away from serving our our neediest brothers and sisters. So let me ask you about your ink. You you have some awesome ink. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, yes. So. Um, uh, up until nanoseconds before the vision of doing this hit me, had I been asked, what do I think of, of tattoos, I, my thought was pretty strong. What an unfortunate thing to do. I mean, <laughs> the human body is, is so magnificent. Why would anyone want to do that? Yeah. And my feeling hasn't changed on that per se. But I do anything and everything that I think furthers the, the mission that I'm on. Right. And when standing right there one February morning, uh, about six in the morning, covering for Thomas, it was very cold, and and deeply, deeply pondering after years of immersion in in the challenge of stopping the genocide in Darfur. Why are we stopping the genocide in Darfur? And what hit me was it's because we talk, it's because we think, it's because we don't love. So, so what, what hit me was we need to stop thinking, we need to stop talking, we need to start loving. Start loving. And in that instant, my name came clear to me. You will have I, a new I, name. I had the words on everything that I do, and it wasn't within a day or so that my question as to why I had this massive expanse of skin on my, on my, my head came to me. It's so it can be right there, Beautiful. and Jesus is the exemplar of that. How do you feel about cultural Christianity? You know, there are a lot of us that claim the cross of Jesus, but then that's about all we do with it. Everyone on the planet born and who will be born in the future are my brothers and sisters. That's why I do this work. Yeah. <clears throat> I think there's nothing more cruel than um, misdiagnosing of, of flattering each other on on um, on the truth. Jesus was real clear. They will know you by how you love. Yeah. Uh, do unto others all you would have them do unto you. The woman who put in a few coins while the rich people put in lots of stuff, she put in more than, than everyone because she put in everything she had. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's not the church today. Yeah. And it was not the synagogues of Jesus' day. Right. So if he were here today, he imagine? would be screaming at us, stop being Christians, start being Christian. Yeah. Stop talking about it. Yeah. Start living it. Yeah. Start being it. We're hypocrites. We are. That's, sure that's an honest diagnosis. We use it as a slander. It's not a slander. It's a diagnosis. It is. We are hypocrites. Yeah. What I do looks like hell to society. It's heaven. Yeah. I'm with you. It's heaven. Yeah. So if you had, let me put you on the spot, if you had 20 words to convey the message of start loving, of, of you as start loving, and as the idea of starting, starting to love, just how would you sum up your mission, your calling, and what you do at Start Loving. I am the the most enlightened, greedy person that that uh, anyone will ever meet. You said in your video the other day, love puts itself in harm's way, and we do run away from it. We do want to. We want the comfort. We want the feel good. We want the warm quilt, the soft pillow. Love goes to get in harm's way. Loving is the optimal human experience. That's what love does. That's what love does. Love, and, and if it's not in suffer, such a suffering planet, if it is not in harm's way, it is not love. Right. Yeah. That was way more you said than that, 20 words. You said, that's all right. We, we, I won't hold you to that. I won't count them later. So when, you said one of your videos recently, 
that your job is not to succeed. Or I, I'm, I'm not going to say it right. It's okay. You say it it's the way all you right. Say it. It's all right. Say it the way you say it. Uh -huh. Your job is not to. Um, the way I've heard it say said within the so-called Christian church is we are not called to be successful. We are called to be faithful. Right. That's a much higher standard than the right. insanity of success orientation that we have here. But really all that I've done is I've moved out of my head and my flesh into the heart. Solely heart. That's the only significant decision any of us ever make from second to second, day to day, yeah. year to year. Well, Mr. Loving, to start, I want to thank you for your time, and I want to encourage you to hit this little link right here and go find Start Loving on YouTube so that you can, uh, I don't know, learn, grow, and maybe even see what this heart does in your life. Thanks for watching. Okay.